All right, guys, in front of me, I have every single banned dangerous kids toy that I could find on the internet. Everything you see here is banned somewhere in the world in the United States, maybe in schools, and we are going to be playing with every single one of them. Starting off with the most dangerous toy of them all, Tickle Me Elmo. That was actually banned sometime in the 90s because it was apparently giving kids nightmares from when you squeezed it and the things that it was saying. So I got this thing off of eBay. I think it was like $100. Uh, so let's turn him on. Have you ever played with one of these before? Uh, I've seen commercials commercials for it. it. They've looked a lot better in photos. This one, yeah, this, this how guy, old you got this from the 90s? I mean, this guy definitely was like using this for something, some other <laughs> use. What, how do you, do you turn up <laughs> chest it impressions? <laughs> Wake up on <laughs> <laughs> It's Come not on. working, dude. I paid a hundred bucks for this. What is this? Duracell oh, wait, battery? There's, like a, there's like another switch. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. I don't oh, think it's dude. gonna work. What a waste of a thing, bro. <laughs> Screw that, bro. All right, so no wonder it's dangerous because it gets your hopes up. It's dangerous because it drains your wallet. All right, so next up we have Buckyball Magnets. So these were an old magnet in the 1990s and it was banned actually recently in 2012 because kids were swallowing the magnets and then they were like obviously choking and dying from it. But we were able to get our hands on a dupe called Specs off of Amazon and let's see if any of us choke. This would oh. be the Wild West. The fact that, oh, this is, it's like putty, but it's like a magnet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Oh, that's gonna be fun to clean up. Are you kidding me? Dude. Yeah, this stuff explodes and will get lodged in your throat. No wonder. I mean, I could see a kid playing with this and then they're like, oh, like that tastes good. <laughs> and they put it in their mouth. I don't recommend doing that, by the way, if you're thinking of that. You can only really play with this like laying down. You can't like, it doesn't have enough structural integrity to... Like, let's see if we can like build stand it up high. on its own. Okay, okay yeah, we can yeah. get this somewhat high. I think that so long as we... All right. Oh, no, no, oh, we got this. It's like uh, kind of like a snowman. I think we're setting a world record here in the meantime. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's got some form to it. Yeah, and then you can start adding like the small ones on top and yeah, it'll get pretty high. Uh, All right, so now we have the Nerf Super Soaker and this thing was banned in 2001 from pools, so like community pool centers because people were basically getting contusions because they were getting sprayed with too harsh of a water stream. Let's see if this actually has some sort of like intensity to it. Oh, it goes pretty far. I think it probably goes like 20 feet. Ooh. Nice. All right. Yeah, Let me do it again some, here. Got some distance it. on there. I can see it's hurting some food. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually them. like, I mean, there's a lot wimpier uh, water guns that I've seen before, so that's like legit. Yeah. Now we have maybe the most popular one of them all, the Easy Bake Oven. This was very hard to find. As you can see, this thing is uh, <laughs> refurbished to say the least. Did, did because... this go through like a flood? It's like, oh, it's wet. Well, the reason why it was so difficult to get my hands on though is because in 2007, Hasbro, who invented this, issued a recall after a girl's finger was amputated, it had to be, because of an injury sustained by the Easy Bake Oven. Also, it led to people's like hair going on fire because they were like going too close when they were cooking and like obviously you're three years old so you have no idea how to cook. And so they recalled 985,000 of these in 2007. And since then this thing is as illegal as some like a schedule two drugs. All right, so this thing is like a whole gadget. I, th I thought I heard stories of these things like bursting in flames or catching fire. Yeah, so, like, whatever. If that... <laughs> Whatever, if that's the worst of it. Now, I don't know if we're able to make an actual recipe. We'll see what is provided to us by this eBay seller. Oh yeah, I, I would definitely eat whatever's in that box. All right, so it's a pretty long cable too. So I think we'd actually show this and plug it in. All right, I'm gonna plug this in so I'd back up because okay, I don't know right. like the last time that this was turned on, but here it goes nothing. Oh. oh my gosh, it turns on. Oh, we got life. Okay, so this is an actual functioning oven. I don't know if you guys oh, can got, see the light. Got, got the little window there. So this thing straight up can cook. Let's hope it's not just the light. Yeah, if we, if we can get some heat warmth from this. So yeah, like if you go through here, this is like how you're supposed to feed things through to cook. Oh, not the front, like. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this way, oh, you're side. supposed to feed a guest through here. Yeah, so you basically just feed it through and then it just cooks. I, it doesn't make sense because you look at this and you think that there needs to be some function to turn it on off, but that's because we're just thinking of typical ovens. This thing is its own beast. All right, so this is our first official meal cooked in the Easy Bake Oven that has been banned because kids are dying from this. Oh, did you pop it through the other side? <laughs> oh, it's hot! <laughs> are you serious? Wait, is it like, feel it. 
Whoa, okay. All right, that's Oh my a, gosh. That's got some that's got some uh some power to it. This thing is actually an oven. You, you could actually cook something through this. And that was an instant push. This is like a pizza oven. You dude, I'm unplugging this. This is dangerous. <laughs> you passed it through so quickly and it's already like a burn risk. This makes sense why this item is bad. This is something kids should never put their hands on. No, I mean there's a reason why ovens aren't designed with like two doors from the side. What the that just blew my I did not expect this to work. I thought it was gonna be like a cheesy thing, like, oh, why was it banned? Because kids are dumb. I can see adults like seriously getting injured. Just pulling the tray without like proper gloves can get you burnt. All right, so now we have Victory branded candy cigarettes, which were banned because kids oh. apparently were developing smoking habits from smoking these fake cigarettes or eating, I should say, these fake cigarettes. Get them while they're young. Yeah, you know, Marlboro's just got a chokehold on the entire world, I guess. Uh, let's try these out and see if we develop any nicotine addictions. I, these were like not that bad though. They were pretty tasty. What do they taste like? So what is the exact? I think, I think it's just like sugar. It is like just straight sugar cane on the lips. Is it worth banning? Kids can get straws and do it. You can get like a paper True. straw. It's a Are thing. we gonna start banning straw? Are we gonna start banning sugar? Cause Bro. it's white? Cause it looks like cane? Did you eat it? I'm out. <laughs> I'm outraged. If you're a genuine enjoyer of the content that I put out, all I have to say is please do not put a vape in your mouth because if you have a vape in your mouth, tell them what happens. Well, you don't look like that. First of all, you look like a goober. You look, you're a little chimney. Ooh. Ooh. When do you die? Um, next year. Yeah. Yeah. If honestly. you're lucky. Yeah, dude. Like it's a, it's a, it's a epidemic. It's a pandemic. Pa you're right. Well, and the, but we don't hear that from Fauci. <laughs> 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 Next. Speaking of bad influences on the children, we have Pregnant Barbie. So if you saw the Barbie movie, they actually made an allusion to this, but in 2002, Barbie dropped a Pregnant Barbie. I don't know if that's Is that anatomically uh, correct? It's not anatomically correct because as you can see, Pregnant Barbie just has what looks like a tumor coming out of her stomach. Oh, it's discolored. Yeah, oh, so you gotta check that out. Yeah, but the reason it was banned is because it was apparently making children want to be mothers at a young age, which is a bad thing because you don't want to become pregnant apparently when you're two years old. Uh, I, I'd say that's that's fair advice. So uh, this was a bad influence. Barbie has a belly, mommy has a belly, daddy may have a belly. It's just a belly. I mean, it might be like, it might have been ahead of its time with like body positivity. All right, I say bring back pregnant Barbie. There's, I, say, I, I don't think there's yeah. a lot to it. And it says beautiful, gentle mother right there. Yeah, she's a, a loving mother, right? All of us, everybody watching this that. video was born from a mother. Exactly, and we need more beautiful, gentle mothers. Yeah. There's sometimes people that don't grow up with one. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a really sad thing. So go and hug your mom and tell her you love her and say Sambucha sent you. Okay, so in April of 1997, the splash water rocket toy was banned. Uh, we don't know what's gonna happen here, but it's it's effectively you fill it with water and then you pump air into it about 20 times. You release it and this thing goes in an unpredictable way. I don't know what's gonna happen. This thing I'm kind of scared about. I hope it doesn't go and hit some Do you, houses. Like, so you is just, there like a trigger to release it after you build up pressure or does it just go off on its own? We're, this is trial and error. All right, all right. Oh, wait, it wasn't even locked in. Now it's locked in. So now the air is being pumped in. Oh, I see it. It's like uh, it's like sparkling water in there. I mean, it's like it's squirting. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's bad. All right, let me do a lot more. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a workout. <laughs> you better be flying, baby. <laughs> oh, that's okay. kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Hey. All right. I thought it was gonna go much further than that, but yeah. Wait. So people were like getting people hurt? Were getting hit in the eye and stuff when they were doing this. Oh, they were. I just, don't think it's like that. they were just staring people, down at it or these something. These kids, man. I, I can see how this could be fun though. All right. So in 1993, Kinder Joy surprise eggs, which you may be saying, Sam, these aren't banned. They are. Listen up. Kinder Joy surprise eggs have the toys mixed with the chocolate, so kids were basically eating the chocolate then accidentally eating the toy as well. Because again, that's what kids do, I suppose. And they yep. were choking, they were dying, you know, the whole story. Uh, but we got our hands on them, and so we're going to try it to see if we're gonna choke. And I also wanna know if the candy is good or not. I've never actually had a Kinder chocolate. Here we have it. So on one side, it looks like you have the chocolate, and on the other side, you have the uh, toy, presumably. Like, you know what? I bet this is like the legalized US version of it. Oh. By split, by one, one half has the toy, the other half has the candy and the, the chocolate. That's true. So yeah, chocolate on one side, toys on the other. It used to be like, it, yeah, all in one. That, and so kids would just be like, oh, this is like a gummy, and then they would eat it. What is this, like a vulture playing for the Clippers? You may have gotten that. I actually got a pretty cool Avatar toy. So what's his name, the main Avatar guy? That's who I got in this. This is where I might get tripped up. Am I supposed to eat that? Is this a toy? Uh, I don't know, the, he might have some shoes in there. Okay, I feel safe. 
No, no toys in there. It actually tastes pretty good too. I think it's like a malt ball. Popular toy in the 90s, we have slap bracelets. I don't know why, but I bought 20 of them by accident. And uh, these were banned because kids were slapping it onto their wrist. Ouch, that kind of hurt. And they were getting lacerations. So they had Lat to ban really? this. Really? Are they like sharp on the edges or something? We're about to find out. All right. I don't know. I've never actually used one of these. Here's yours. You have the... Oh, these are like papery. I don't know. I, I always imagined and remembered them to be a little thicker. How do you get this on? Uh, oh, we have two. Okay, so it's just a single one and oh, here we go. Ow, it does kind of uh, hurt. Yeah, I got, I got long sleeves on, so let me, let me, let me feel this bare skin. It, it, it needs a little more like heft like, to it. Oh, you know what? I can, it's like a, what do they call that? The, uh, the Indian burn? When Indian you burn, that? yeah, when they like twist your, twist your arm. One, two, and it just goes on. And it's it and used sometimes to it goes on. If you're a kid and you don't have like thick skin, I suppose that it could you know do some damage, some lacerations. Actually, like my arm's a little red. All right, so this one is actually dangerous because so it's the SpongeBob SquarePants address book and it contains dangerous levels of lead. Seriously? Yeah. So this yeah, was when, when I saw this, I'm like, what? What's the? It doesn't what's the look big deal? like there's anything wrong with this, right? On the surface, just looks like a innocent SpongeBob. I probably toy. should be wearing gloves. Yeah, probably should. <laughs> That could like leach into your, your hands. And then the inside, I'm gonna There's just the, do it from afar. I don't wanna get close yeah. to this. We're, it's just an address book. So it just has, you know, like bikini bottom way and stuff. I guess you could just write in, it's literally an address book. These used to be a thing when you, you know, you, you wanna just put it on your phone. Yeah, like your phones. contact. I don't know what part of it contains the lead. I'm guessing like the ink. So it could be oh, like, like, okay. Through yeah, here. Yeah, like the, the, the printer ink. SpongeBob yeah. really went downhill after he died. After season three in the movie, it just, yeah. Is it still on air? I think so. That's I think it's crazy. It, it, all right, so here we have clanker balls. These were banned a few years ago because people were obviously getting hurt because they're made of pretty heavy balls. Yeah, they're solid, they're solid. And you're supposed to just like clank them, you know? So let's say we're having fun. We're like, oh. That's got... two points. Oh, it's got some bounce to it. Hey. So kids were getting hurt by this? All right, this was a massive waste. This thing sucks. So in 1974, this next item was banned in New York specifically because the inspiration of martial arts movies had a lot of people buying these and it's classified as a weapon. But just for YouTube sanity, this one is not qualified as a weapon because it has like a, uh, it's a, a covering replica. on it. It's a replica. Yeah. Uh, and that's nunchucks. So I used to do karate and I've actually used nunchucks before. I'm not good with them, but I understand like the basics of what Have you ever like uh, hit your hit your ribs? Uh, no, I haven't. And so you, here, take a feel. Oh like, yeah, you that, say it's, it's that's not, replica quality. This is replica YouTube. It's like plastic on top, it, right? It's not yeah. metal. There's no like weight to it. Can we confirm this is a <laughs> not a weapon YouTube? And yeah, so just watch out. I don't want to poke your eye. Right, right, right. But yeah, like, I mean, you know, if you got like, some of the form, I don't. But I know you're just supposed to like. <laughs> you're just hitting your back. All right. It could. hurt. Hurt someone? Not this one. Of Not course. this one. This one is no. It's like it's like pillows. It's probably like a dog toy, honestly. Like, like ooh, feels good. Like pillows, right? I mean, it, it feels better than those uh, the slap, slap bracelets. Yeah, the slap uh, bracelets are uh, way worse. That's hey, a weapon. Give it a try. That's not bad. What, oh, oh, yeah. oh, you get the chain? Nice. You got double chucks. <laughs> okay. All right. So kids were playing with these. Just imagine two kids. If I was a kid and I had these, I'd be dueling with another kid, like lightsabers, and I'd just be like. I'd say keep them banned though. Like nunchucks probably, not these, but nunchucks probably shouldn't be uh, something that kids have access to. Yeah, I'd say like two out of 10. So in 2021, this is the most recent appearance on this list. We have the, the Teletubby toy, which is a, uh, a talking toy. So if you click it, it says 10 different phrases. And one of the phrases was apparently a little NSFW and it was getting kids in trouble with their parents because they were saying things that they shouldn't be saying. So I'm curious to see what that yeah, is exactly. What, all right. So let's go through the whole sequence. Tell us your secrets. Did it say baby hot pee? I think we just one for one did. <laughs> they said baby take your clothes off? See, let me hear you, hold on. Wait, wait. Hot? They're talking I dirty talk. I don't I don't like the theming here. What is, this seems like it's been dubbed over. This is not like a, this is a legitimate toy that still has a product tag on it. Like this is Yeah, this factory. is like fresh. They were like, this is it. Okay, a little ghoulie to laugh. Yeah. I don't want this anywhere near my kids. 
Yeah, that, that's way more cursed than Elmo. All right, so next up we have Pudo, which is just literally fake poop. And this wasn't banned for the reason you think. So I'm sure, wh why do you think this was banned? I'm just gonna go off and say it was probably inappropriate. Kids were becoming sensitive and developing allergies to the wheat that's contained in making this product. Why would they put wheat in it? I don't know. Like as if it has, as if it's like real poop. And this topped the list of the top 10 most banned toys in the 90s. This poop right here. So if you have a, like a wheat Does allergy it, predisposition, I wouldn't go near this. Does it smell like, like bread, cereal? You tell me. I mean, it has a little funky smell. It's definitely plastic. We, oh, uh, yeah, it's it's very plasticky. That is a strong, pla I, I think I'd rather it smell like poop. So it's just, it's fake poop, that's all it is. All right, so this is Sky Dancers, a toy that was banned in the 2000s after more than 100 kids got injured and some kids even like were losing teeth over this hitting them into their face. So I'm hopefully not gonna do that today, but we have our purple Sky Dancer and I think you just, I, I guess it's like a lawnmower. And how does it release? <laughs> <laughs> How do you get this? You may, I think you need a little more uh, finesse. Uh, you had it kind of right the first time. Oh, well, let me All get right. this going. I want to get this spinning. Get some more air time. Nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's that, kind of fun. That, that's pleasant. All right, that's let's try pleasant, to shoot uh, this into something. Let's say I want to put it into the tree. Nice. Ooh, and, oh, almost. You can play a golf with this. All right, I'm going for the height on this one. Watch out. Apparently your teeth are in danger here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's nice. All right, nice. so I'm gonna do something that nobody else should be trying, but I'm basically gonna be trying to catch it midair to see if I actually get some lacerations from the spinning. Yeah, those, those wings are like hard plastic. Oh, oh, that was clean. All right, so blow pens were banned in the 2000s. This is an original blow pen package. You could tell by the state of it. It's definitely ripped up and used. And these are actually banned, so they're non-toxic, they're washable, but they apparently, it's really hard to get off of certain surfaces. Mm. I don't know if I necessarily want to test that, oh, I bet but that, we're gonna test it. I bet that's what started the whole like, pen saying a washable, 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 because. Yes, it also probably, this is where Yo, the. Oh, I've had these as a kid. I actually, I, I've played with these. Like you, you a, a good amount, yeah, yeah. Get, get in front of the camera. Get, get in a few, uh, few drips there. Oh, nice. That's like, um, what is that? Guatemala? Yeah, I just drew the entire country of Guatemala, top down. Guatemala City, Mexico, you know, the whole bordering area. Oh, there, yeah. There's the Yucatan, blue ocean. Oh, holy! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at that it's tsunami! Just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is kind of a cool device. Yeah. Bring them back or what? I'd say bring them back. Bring them back. All right, so this is something that everybody watching this video has surely had at some point in their life. I know you probably did. Oh. Fidget spinner, of course. You gotta love it. The 2017's most popular toy. Absolute and this was, craze. So they're not banned in the sense that it's illegal to own them, but in schools across the board, they're banned because kids were obviously becoming too obsessed with fidget spinners and they weren't focusing in class. So it's yeah. more so like a um, Department of Education ban. So I don't know if that even counts because who takes them seriously? What if I like, like a karate chop? Oh, that's not gonna stop. Do you want to put that down and see if it's still going? <laughs> yeah, for the, for the, the time we finish the next one, if there's yeah. a way to drop it. All right, there All right, we go. so the video ends when this fidget spinner <laughs> stops spinning. It's gonna be like the DVD logo of the toys. This is just what all eyes are on at this point. Aqua beads have high levels of a poisonous chemical called the date drug. So I don't know what that's called exactly, like the chemistry of it, but. Oh no. Aqua beads contain some stuff that, like don't buy this. This It's good that this is banned because I mean, imagine just taking oh, a what, whiff what? of this. So people were coming unconscious after swallowing these beads. I don't know what they're even used for. So it looks like aqua beads are meant to be just beads you play in the water with. So you put them in like uh, water, for instance, like a spray bottle, and they're just like a fun little design thing to have within your sprays. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to put, it, put them in water? Yeah. You just put it, oh, and all right, let's test it. Yeah, yeah, we have to put it in water. All right, so here I have a bowl of water and the recipe calls for <laughs> beads. So as of right now, it's literally just beads and water. Nothing happened whatsoever. We'll leave these off to the side. Yeah, well, something will happen if you drink them. <laughs> True. Yeah, and, and this this is still spinning. Let, yeah. let that be known that yeah. Okay, so next up we have a squeaky baby doll. And the reason this was banned was because it has dangerous levels of like fumes that come out of it. Of, of course. And also the sound of it uh, exceeds a certain decibel level that isn't allowed <laughs> in certain places. So I don't, this thing is just. This, it's a public menace. This is an absolute. That's literally a chemical weapon and a psychological <laughs> torture. There it is, just a cute little baby. Where's the squeeze? Oh my gosh. Don't give it the, the Elmo treatment. <laughs> the Elmo treatment. There's no squeeze. Oh, we need light. Oh, the head? Squeeze. Oh. <laughs> Be careful. Now he's gonna have a deformed head for the rest of his life. How come all these toys don't have a functioning squeeze? Oh my gosh, what a waste! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he looks like uh, like Pinhead, like, yeah. <laughs> looks like Patrick. All right, definitely don't buy this. Keep it banned. Put Save it your money. Yeah, it looks like and it. We'll give him a little pacifier so he at least can suffer in peace. Yeah, in peace. All right, so Barbie with her dog wasn't banned for the reason you think. It was actually because there's a magnet that comes with the pooper scooper that was mm -hmm. a choking hazard, just like a lot of these toys. It's kind of a cop out. Like, I don't know why they banned the entire toy. So there's Barbie. Let's get her pooch out of there. <sighs> Always a choking hazard, huh? Now, where's the pooper scooper? So they got rid of the pregnant Barbie and they made a pregnant dog Barbie. Oh, that's That's genius. their workaround. Let's do this. Oh, I've right. emerged. All right. <laughs> hey, Barbie. Hey, Rufus. How are the babies? Oh, I didn't even know I was pregnant. You want to see? Oh, yeah, you're definitely pregnant. Oh, that's so mean of you. I thought you were my friend. No, I can tell. You put on a couple pounds. Wait, I feel like I have to use the bathroom. Do you want to walk me real quick? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm just going to use the bathroom right here real quick. Yeah. Just got to make sure. Oh! oh, my gosh. Why does my poop look like little dogs? They're triplets. Oh, congratulations. To me. Oh, they're beautiful. Are they, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I'd give this like a six out of 10. I mean, like why is it banned? But also actually it was kind of fun to play with. Yeah. Does it have replay value? Can I do this I mean, over and over again? You could do like as many scenarios as you want. Mate, oh, if you get, if you uh, bring out the pregnant Barbie and it comes, comes out. I am puppy. baby. <laughs> I am Barbie's baby. I ride you cause this is what babies do. They have fun with their dog. Hi Barbie. Oh my God. It seems I have passed you in height. Did you get into the tub of creatine again? Yes, me and Sam Sulek. <laughs> I've been watching his videos and so I've taken a liking to the gym. You abomination, you are now a baby of mine. I don't even move when I look at you, wench. <laughs> now I'm wearing moon shoes and this product was banned in 2003 after kids were getting fractured ankles, which makes a lot of sense because these are very hard to navigate. And it's supposed to simulate the moon's gravity by using some trampoline mechanism below your feet. So these things definitely have a lot of give. I think I'm maxing out the weight limit on this. So I think if you guys yeah. weigh over. This is like meant for like 100 pound kids or something like that. <laughs> definitely not a full grown adult. <laughs> I don't know if you show them, I'm maxing out. Like every time I go to the bottom, I'm hitting the ground. Oh yeah, so, yeah, they're bottomed out. So this is not. Oh, and there, there's like holes in the, in the straps. <laughs> This is gonna snap. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna get out of this then. <laughs> Wait, okay, we gotta see a jump at least. That's what these are meant. I'll do They're one They're built jump. for jumping. <laughs> oh man. Was that sick? Uh, I mean, it, it looked like something. <laughs> okay, before I become one of the statistics of the 20,000 kids that got fractured ankles, I'm going to delace these. All right, so now we have the Cabbage Patch Kid, which in 1997, this doll was banned because little girls were giving it hugs and then their hair would get caught in the doll's mouth and it would kind of like pull on their hair and strands would actually come out. Oh, that, that, that So there she terrible. is. Oh, missing a, missing a shoe. Okay, kind of bootleg. Her hair <laughs> smells like there's some asbestos in there. Oh, it's kind of like vanilla though. It's not getting caught in. Hmm. It, I mean, the mouth looks pretty like rounded and, and like big. Like there's nothing sharp to like grab onto your hair. Yeah, not, not really, but apparently it was happening. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise subscribe on your way out and I'll see you next time. Peace.